What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to Cart 63. I am your host because it is my channel, and I deem myself the host because it sounds just cool. <laughs> All right, I had a uh, suggestion for a video, and it asked about camber and caster while you were scaling a cart. Now, <clears throat> I did not set up my scales again because, honestly, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get them all set up. And for reference point, you don't, they don't need to be on the scales for that, but know that if you're going to be doing your uh, camber on your cart, it is best to be on a level surface like scales. So I'm gonna do my best to try and get an angle down so I can actually adjust um, on, on the cart and, and see how that goes. I may take an over, you know, maybe do a different video. I don't, we, you'll see here in a minute how I'm gonna do this because I'm not quite sure how I am going to accomplish this feat. So, <laughs> all right, we're gonna go down. We're gonna look at the cart. I'm gonna try and explain best I can and then uh, we'll come back up for a, uh, uh, a finale, uh, uh, an explanation, a, a closeout of what I was talking about. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. All right, as promised, we are down uh, here taking a peek at this. I have taken the uh, body off to uh, get a better understanding of what I'm looking at here. So I'm going to attempt to uh, put the stationary camera on and show exactly what I do in order to adjust this. So uh, again, I have, um, get, this, get this in the shot here, I have an AccuToe system. Uh, it's a little more expensive side, but it is a great item to have. They have other uh, bubble, uh, Long Anchor has one, a bunch of them, uh, for figuring out what your camber is. So uh, again, I haven't set this. This isn't something I normally run. I don't normally run that much caster, but, or I'm sorry, camber. Uh, this is negative camber, and then I'll flip it around and I'll do it on the other side looking at the left front tire. But right now I'm going to attempt to mount the camera and then make an adjustment and see if I can get this to work. I'm, I'm not positive on it, but uh, if it works, it's going to be really cool. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, everyone, this is my up-close uh, shot here. So <clears throat> I'm going to do my best over here. i get my finger in there. Right here, this is where you're gonna be making your adjustment. This is on the cart chassis. So this is your upper heim um, on your right front. This is a right front, if you didn't know. And over here, this is what we're looking for. So when I make adjustment on the other side, uh, in or out, this is gonna adjust this bubble. So we're gonna try and take it to about the two and a half mark. Uh, what you're gonna need is you're gonna take you got a couple three quarter inch uh, wrenches here. Okay, and then as, as the tire's sitting here, it's tipped like this. So we have too much negative camber in it right now. Um, and what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna tip that tire just slightly that way to get to two and a half. Now this is, you know, I'm not saying that this is what the chassis needs, but I am just, you know, it, it's a demonstration. I, I think you understand that. So. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to loosen the inside. Oof, goodness. Somebody had this really tight one the last time they hooked it up. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we're loosening the outside, and you don't have to do much, okay? So I just, I just loosen this inside nut, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go basically the same direction, so that's going to take up the slack I just took out, Right over here, you can see it's already started to move. So you're going to take up the slack and you're, you're tipping that tire down. And probably have to do a little bit more than that. It's a pretty big adjustment. So what you do want to pay attention is there is a hole here. So that is for your safety, uh, your safety clip to go through so that doesn't rotate on you, that doesn't come, come apart while you're racing. But if you're paying attention over on this side here, you can see that bubble is more nearing the two and a half mark. Right about there. Now you're gonna put, get both on there and then you're gonna tighten and hopefully that'll stay, uh, stay about there. So 
basically that's all I do for a camber adjustment. Real simple. Again, do this on scales. I do it, you know, I have it on the ground just because I'm lazy and I don't want to set up the cart scales right now. Uh, but basically that's it. And just make sure that you can get your uh, cotter key um, back through this hole for safety reasons. I also, I like to take a piece of safety wire and, and you know, it's uh, it's through the bottom and top, so neither one of these bolts, you know, your 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 front end isn't going to come apart on you at high speed. So, all right, we'll uh, we'll switch the angle over to the other side, and I'll just give a quick demonstration over there. Okay, now we are on the left front. I guess I'll I'll do this just uh, for reference point. I may not make an adjustment on that. I just showed you how the bubble would move. Now you're looking for positive or even camber on this side, so. Uh, I didn't show this, so all right, you have your, this is your safety clip that goes on the end. You're going to want to remove the nut on your front spindle. So that's what that would look like. And then on this system, so here is the, the, the straight rod that goes with the Accutel setup, and you're going to put that on the end of your spindle. Screw that to tight, okay? And then this one, is, it says left on here. So this is, you know, zero, you know, plus one. So usually on a cart setup, at least ones I set up, it's gonna be, you know, like a 0.5, uh, a three quarter, maybe even if you're getting super aggressive, a, a plus one. So with this setup, these are, these are just real simple. Here's a, uh, it's square here. Right. You're going to slip that on and you're going to tighten these up. That's going to square that. And there's also a bubble out here on the edge that to make sure that is square and uh, even with the ground. So right now, I admit, <laughs> uh, right where I said it before, so this is still at uh, positive. Uh, three or three quarters of a degree and that's right where I like it set so I'm not gonna mess with that right now <laughs> so <laughs> all right we're gonna go back up top and uh, and do a little close out and uh, I'll see you guys in a moment all right goodbye what is going on uh, we are back up top as you can see <laughs> hopefully everything went well with the uh, footage down below uh, once I get to editing I'll I'll do my best to, to make it look as good as possible but uh that is basically what you're looking at when I set uh, camber and caster on a car. Uh, caster, I do not play with it. Um, I think that a cart manufacturer went through the time and effort to test on their chassis to get the best result. Can it be played with? Absolutely, especially something like indoor, uh, a smaller, tighter track, you know, uh, maybe a bigger track, you could make a little adjustment on that. Uh, you have to think of caster in the concept of a uh, say a chopper, a, motor, a motorcycle, a chopper, how the rake is out farther. Well, that doesn't turn nearly as easy, but they are more stable at high end. Now, uh, take for instance, a grocery cart, that is the opposite. So you're taking that angle. So a chopper is like this, it's stable at high speed. And then a grocery cart is tipped like this. So the faster you go, the front wheels will wobble. Same concept with a, a cart as well. So the, the more those are lean back, the more responsive, the quicker the turn would be, but they are less stable at high speed. So you have to find that happy medium there. And that's what I find that factory has already done for us. When they create a chassis, they did the R&D uh, effort. They got out the tracks. They experimented with what worked best on whatever chassis. So that's just my opinion. Go ahead, play with it if you want. You think you can get a little more out of something, get a little better turn in, knock yourself out. But I prefer not to play with that. So uh, again, I hope this helps somebody. Um, and uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you later.